We're going to talk about how you rename variables in Stata. You can find this yourself by googling Stata rename variable and clicking on the PDF that comes up. This will only tell you how to rename a single variable, but if you rename group, you'll see some of the more complex renaming options that we're going to go over today. So briefly, uh, you can rename variables in four different ways. You can rename a single variable. Uh, you can rename a list of variables. You can rename variables in batch, or you can swap names between variables. To rename a single variable, you simply say rename, and then the old name, and then the new name. To do a list, you do the same thing, except you put the series of old names in parentheses, and you put the series of new names in parentheses as well. And so um, the first old name corresponds to the first new name, and the second old name corresponds to the second new name. If you do things in batch, you're going to use the, um, the star key, and I think this is easier shown than, um, than, than written down. So for example, if I put star and then text, if I want to change this text, then I would put star and uh, new text. So then everything that was in that came after the star would be replaced by this new, this new text after the star. And we'll illustrate that for you. And to rename, uh, to swap, you still use rename, but then you'll um, say variable one, variable two, and then you'll say variable two, uh, variable one, and in fact, that's a lot easier than deleting it and reassigning it. Let's show you how this actually works in Stata. So to illustrate this for you, I've now imported a data set uh, regarding people's cataract information. Um, the first thing you have to know is when you import things from a form, you generally often won't know what all the different variables that show up here are. So you're going to want to have a form which tells you everything. This actually tells me that variable 1 is the lens status, 2, A is nuclear, B is cortical, 3 is posterior subcapsular, and 3 is posterior capsular opacification. And these are for the right eye or for the left eye. So let's go through some examples of how we're going to rename everything. The specifics of how we're going to rename these specific variables is not critical. If you want to rename an end variable at a variable at a time, the old name, so for example, cataract notes, let's say I want to get rid of the cataract, I'm going to just say notes. And so you see that cataract notes has turned into notes. Let's do the same thing for cataract missing, which is right over here. I'm going to say rename cataract missing, missing, and that's going to remove the cataract. We have all right our RE for all the right eye variables and left LE for all the left eye variables. Let's say I want to rename all of those with OD instead of RE and OS instead of LE. These are the eye terminologies for right eye and left eye. So um, what I would do to get rid of all the REs and replace them with ODs is put a star before everything that comes that includes right eye and include a star that comes everything that inclu that includes everything that comes after right eye and I want to replace that with the same thing that comes before OD and the same thing that comes after and what you're going to see happen is everywhere there's an RE you're going to get an OD instead Let's see I illustrate as such Let's do the same thing for left eye and OS. And now all the um, left eyes becomes OS's. Let's say we don't really want to know the fact that this all relates to the cataract form because we're in the cataract form itself. We can rename cataract and everything that comes after it with simply everything that comes after it getting rid of the cataract. And we see now the cataract gets dropped from all those variables. Let's say now we want to rename um, for both the right eye and the left eye together all of these individual variables 1, 2a, 2b, 2c, and 3. So let's go. Uh, so we're going to rename both the right eye and left eye. So I'm going to put in uh, a star and 1. And so instead of 1, I want to rename that according to what it is, which is the lens status. So I'm going to rename it that with an underscore and lens status. Okay, let's do the same thing for 2a, 2b, and 2c. 2a is uh, the nuclear grade, as you can see over here. And so we're going to put in nuclear. Uh, we're going to do 2b, which is the cortical. And we're going to do 2c, which is 
uh, the posterior subcapsular, which we're going to call PSC, according to our terminology. And we're going to do three, which is the presence of uh, posterior capsular opacification, and we're going to call it PCO. Okay, uh, so you can see all of these have been changed. Um, let's say we don't want OD1 uh, uh, SP and, o, o, and OS1 SP. You can simply drop those variables. And you can either drop them as a list, um, so by writing them out, or you can uh, put in a star and one SP, and both of those get dropped. Let's say we wanted to switch two things. So let's say we wanted to switch um, the right eye and the left eye for nuclear. So then I'm going to say rename, and I'm going to use the same terminology as where I do a list. So OD nuclear OS nuclear and I'm going to switch it to OS nuclear OD nuclear and you're going to see that now where OD was OS is and where OS was OD is if you want to switch it back you actually just hit the same command again and they get swapped right back. So that illustrates how you rename variables which can be done very very quickly and we'll go over how we uh, label them and assign value labels in the next lecture.